Hey there everybody, in this video I'm going to teach you how to play Theme for Young Lovers by The Shadows. This is written by Bruce Welch, played so beautifully by Hank Marvin and the, and the band. Uh, I came up with a fingerstyle guitar arrangement. I got the idea for this arrangement from Phil Emanuel. He said, Joe, you should come up with an acoustic instrumental version of Theme for Young Lovers because it's such a great melody. So that's what I did, and I'd like to teach it to you in this video. I do have the full tab and notation available for this arrangement. And it's not in every video I say the tab's really going to help you, but in this case, the tab is really going to help you because it's a specific arrangement. I play it exactly the same every time, and the tab and notation is going to reflect that. And I do apologize in advance because in my performance version of this song, I'm playing with the guitar tuned down a half step. And the reason being is that I played it on this beautiful wartime L00 Gibson and I was afraid to tune it up to concert pitch with a set of 12s which is the only gauge of strings I had and this guitar doesn't have a truss rod so I wanted to just be a bit gentle on it and now I have a set of 11s on it tuned to concert um, pitch. If you want to listen to the performance version and transpose the the key you can use this plugin on Google Chrome called Transpose. It's free and it's pretty good so you can do that if you want to play along with the performance version but I'm going to teach it to you in standard tuning here the sections are there's an intro there's a low melody and a high melody there's a bridge and then a re-intro with harmonics and then there's a uh, the melody again with the low register with this kind of tic-tac But I'm not using a pick for this song, I'm just using my bare fingers, no thumb pick, no nothing, just fingers only. And then there's an outro. So I'm going to walk you through the entire arrangement in this video, I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what other songs you'd like me to arrange, if you have requests that is. And do check out the tab that's also linked in the video description, like I said. So the intro sounds like this. Okay, so what we're doing there is we're starting with a G major chord. This is kind of like the bluegrass G where there's no third. So it's just low G, open D, open G, and then ring and pinky there on the third fret and third fret of the top two strings. And then we do, so we go pinky on the G note, and then ingot's finger on the F sharp note, second fret of the E string. Sharp E. And as we hit that E melody note, we play an E minor chord. And the groove of the song goes. Bum, 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 bum. So we want our arrangement to kind of reflect that groove. So we play it like this. So it's bum, bum on the thumb, two strokes on the thumb, and then a bit of a strum. It's usually a bit of a partially muted strum because if you just go, it kind of just doesn't really have any character to it. You can kind of control the attack or well, the, the length of the note by muting on the bridge a little bit. And then we go, okay, so it's open B and then pinky on the A note, second fret of the G string. An open G and then we have the thumb play the low G here and that's not too difficult for, for most people it shouldn't be difficult for most people unless you play in classical style which you probably wouldn't play this song with a classical technique it's rock and roll so we hammer on from the second fret of the G string to the fourth fret and that's basically the intro. Keep that same groove going, repeat. And then we go to 
we play an F chord. So I use the thumb on the low F note so I can hammer on from the open G to the second fret of the G string. If you, if you were to do it on a bar chord, uh, it would be... just doesn't have the same flavor as... And it's kind of nice to play a major 7 there. We don't want it to sound too jazzy. Then I play a D chord with an F sharp in the bass. And then we're going in to the A section with the low melody. So the A section with the low melody goes like this. So for the vast majority of you, that's going to be the part of the song that you're going to want to learn. The rest of the song features a lot of embellishments, a lot of harmonics, bells and whistles that are not essential for getting the, the beauty of this melody across. So let's take some time and really dive into this main section of the song with the low melody. So we have open D, second fret of the D string. G played with that same bluegrass G. Next we have the second fret of the G string and the B open B melody note. And then we have so it's like a C triad. Well I guess it's the C note there, third fret of the A string. And then, so the ring fingers on the C, and then the index fingers on the E, second fret of the B string, and the middle finger plays the second fret of the G string, and then to the open G. And then we play the second fret of the D string to open G again. So, so far we have. This is quite a repetitive song, so bear with me here. And if that little bar takes you 20 minutes of constant tinkering with, that's totally normal. Pause the video or watch the video all the way through and get a feel for what, <laughs> what's coming. And then roll it back and watch little bite-sized chunks at a time. That's the way to learn a song like this. Now we have... So we go from that G chord, and the first finger plays the second fret of the G string, and the open B comes next, and then we play a B minor chord, and it's not exactly a bar chord, because we're really just kind of having the first finger play that B note only, and then we have the F sharp, the B, and the D note played, open B then. But then we play open G. And the reason we don't bar it is you can't, if the bar is there, you can't play the open B or the open G. So you just want to go. Hopefully that made sense. So it's B minor, and the melody is here on the D note, third fret of the B string, and then open B, and then open G. And then a G chord with a melody there on the third fret of the B string. And you want the melody to ring out nice and clearly in this song. That's one of the things that you would focus on when practicing this, is just trying to get the melody to really speak through and be super clear, almost like Hank Marvin plays it. Listen to the way Hank phrases. It's so beautiful. He's such a masterful player. So we have... And then we 
play that same B minor, not a bar chord version of the B minor, because we have the open E ringing out up top, melody's there. To an A minor. So the melody is E, B, third fret of the uh, B string, and then open B, and open G. A minor chord to a D chord, maybe with an F sharp in the bass. And then we walk up to a G chord. So we go from a D chord, and then the melody is D note. They're on the third fret of the B string, open E, then hammering on from the third fret of the high E to the fourth fret. And so we go F sharp, G, and then over the C chord, we play the F sharp melody note to the E. Back to that B minor chord. So D, E, B minor. The melody is the D note. So we have. And then we have open B, open G. And we have a C chord. C, E. Second fret of the G string, open G, and then open G, open B, sorry, open G, second fret, open B, and then A, so second fret of the G string, open B, and then an A minor chord, but we're not really playing the full A minor, we're just playing open A, second fret of the D string, 2nd fret of the G string, and then open G, and then C, and then G. I hope you're following along so far. Please don't get discouraged, and do download the tab. I think that's really going to help you. So to recap the first section, it goes like this. If you're having trouble with the left hand, please do download my daily exercises at invisibletechnique.com. It's a bunch of left hand daily exercises that I've been doing for close to 20 years now that I know are going to help a lot of you. So do check that out. Use the promo code YouTube if you want a bit of a discount. And uh, let's keep rolling through. Here's the high melody. It sounds like this. So this is quite a bit more advanced than what we've learned so far. And for that reason, I'm going to walk through it quite a bit faster, because if you're going to be learning this section, you're going to be a more advanced player. So we're just walking up here from a G chord here, and the melody goes D, E, G. And then we walk up in double stops. So B and G, C and A. this C chord, 
which is C in the bass, and then C, open G, and then pinky on the A note, and then resolve into the G note. And then open E, G, G. And we have that G chord, which is G, B, open G, and G. And then I play this big B minor stretching chord, which features the thumb playing the low B note, and then 7, 7, 7, and then the pinky up there playing the high D, resolving to the B. And then we have G, B, D with this G chord again. And then we play E minor harmonics. So I'm playing the top three strings at the same time as the low E harmonic. And we go harmonic E, high E, harmonic D, seventh fret of the G string, and then open B harmonic. Open G harmonic, and then A minor chord here, open A, and then C, E, and A, and then I play this D and A note together, and we play, <laughs> kind of a nice way to play it, play D harmonic, 7th fret of the G string, and then open E harmonic, and then 7th fret of the B string harmonic, F sharp, and then a G harmonic here with the pinky, uh, fifth fret of the G string, and then the pinky comes back and forth between the seventh fret of the B string and the fifth fret of the G string, and then the middle finger slides up here, and the first finger plays the seventh fret of the B string harmonic, and then the pinky plays the twelfth fret high E harmonic. And then we play the D harmonic, 7th fret of the G string, and then high E harmonic, and then we play just the 7th fret bar harmonic, and then B, and then open G, and then we play the C melody, C bass note, and we play A harmonic, G harmonic. We play a G bass note here with the middle finger, pinky being there on the B note. Then we play A harmonic, B harmonic. So A seventh fret of the of the D string, and then B harmonic, twelfth fret of the B string. Now I know I'm going through this really quickly, but if you're going to be playing this, then you really got to be a pretty advanced player and the tab is going to be very helpful. I'm going to run out of time on my cameras in a minute. And then we go... So we go A, 7th fret of the D string, open G harmonic, 7th fret of the A string harmonic, 12th fret of the D string harmonic. And then we play this C and E note together, resolving to a G. So the high melody once more. Then the bridge goes just D hammering on to a B note, resolving to the A note, and then a G chord with the C note, and then the B note being the melody, and then just sliding up 7th fret, 7th fret on the D and G string, and then 5th fifth fret, fifth fret with the D in the bass, sliding back up, resolving to a G chord. And then we go, which is the melody of the intro, played in harmonics. So we go G, 5th fret, ha harmonic, and then, and then bef between that F sharp harmonic, 7th fret of the B string, and then the 12th fret E harmonic. And then 
we play, which is B, open B, A harmonic, G harmonic, B harmonic, sorry, A harmonic, and then we play a C in the bass, and the pinky comes up here on the 12th fret, and play the same phrase, and we play this C minor chord, the major 7 actually added, kind of nice. Then you can just play a D, a D riff. I play this like. You can play whatever you like. Then we play the same A melody, but with this, which is just mimicking Hank Marvin's echo pedal. Resolving to a G. Hope I didn't go through all that too quickly. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I wish you all the best with this song. Please download the tab. I think it'll really help you. And check out that Transpose app for Doodle Chrome if you want to transpose my version that's in E-flat tuning up to concert pitch. I'm going to be performing this song from here on out in concert pitch. So if you see another video of me performing it, I'll be in concert pitch so you can listen and, uh, and use that as, as a reference when learning this song. Take care and all the best, everybody.